When I was a little girl, my mom had a scrapbook. She kept a lot of things in the scrapbook for me and my sister, things like our honor roll certificates and those little bumper card things that say, my kid was student of the month, and yada, yada, yada. So in that scrapbook, one day I found, found it, and there was a list of a paper that I wrote when I was in like the kindergarten, first grade. I was really young. And it said, list three things that you want to be when you grow up. So my third thing was a teacher. And that was before I didn't, I didn't know I didn't like kids. I don't want to deal with kids. <laughs> so, so that obviously didn't work for me. My second thing was a doctor. And that was mainly because, you know, most of our families tell us, when you grow up, you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer. You're going to do great things. You're going to be somebody and the whole nine yards. But I didn't want to go in the medical field. I don't like bodily fluids or anything else that the human body does. <laughs> So, my first thing on the list was I wanted to be a chef. So, now here I am, years later, and I just graduated culinary school, and my name is Candice Daniels, and I'm going to tell you about my journey. <coughs> so, I recently graduated culinary school, and I decided that I wanted to own my own restaurant. So after I graduated culinary school, I went to um, South Mountain to get my business degree, and I did the small business certificate program here. And I figured out that I wanted to open a french fry restaurant. So my goal is to have a french fry themed restaurant where everything on the menu has a theme of french fries. Like you build your own fries, you can get buffalo chicken fries, you can get Philly fries, you can get the whole thing, whatever you want to do with it. So that's one thing that's interesting about me. Also, a good trait that I found that I have is that I'm really focused. I know what I want, and I know like that I have an end goal, and I know that I want to get there one day. And I know that everything in life isn't easy, so sometimes, <coughs> so sometimes we just have to focus ourselves, and we have to just get to the end of the road, basically. Also, a good thing that I found interesting about myself is I feel like I'm the best hype man ever since Fade to Play. Like, <laughs> like, if you're my friend and you tell me, like, I want to be an astronaut, then I'm like, let's do it. Let's go to the moon. Like, I don't even like heights, but we can go there. We can do whatever you want to do. I believe in everybody else's dreams, and I believe in everybody else's goals. And that's why the quote that I picked was, doubt kills more dreams than failure ever could. Because if you don't believe in yourself and you don't believe in your own dreams, then you're not going to make it anywhere. Um, so, also, I picked that quote because I put um, that there's imperfections in everything. And basically, at the end of the day, you have to find ways to tweak those imperfections and be a better person every day. Work towards your goals. Work towards your dreams. Stay focused. And... You only live once, so make it the best life you have.